It's a normal day out, and then you hear this. What do you do? Chad Flanagan and his disaster action team help the community to prepare for disasters like active shooting. Our philosophy is it's not if something's going to happen, it's just when it will happen. So the better we are prepared for it, the better that uh, we're able to come together and work as a team of individuals to provide for each other. Leading the active shooter preparedness seminar was Captain David Azuelo, who explained to the audience what to do in a case of a shooting. And essentially, there are three different options that most people will have, either run, hide, or fight. And that is really what's being taught across the entire country. Rebecca Jackson never thought something like this would ever happen to her. One night at a party, a fight broke outside her house, and before she knew it, a man with a gun was at her door. My roommate and I, we locked the door, and then we told everyone to be quiet, and then um, turned off all the lights, and told everyone to go to the back of the house, away from all the windows, and um, my other friend called the police. The alleged gunman broke this window, and even though it's already been repaired, some things can't be fixed. I'm a lot more paranoid about being home alone and going out, walking to class or anything because now I know that it's real and it could happen to me. For more information on taking disaster prevention classes, go to pccwired.org. For Arizona Cat's Eye, I'm Sherilyn DeLeon.